I'm doing a vlog that I will hopefully be rendering and editing on a new rig once it's all squared away. So, as most of you, well, some of you know from watching some of the previous videos, let me try to straighten out this camera, I have been having issues with just stuff in general on the current rig. So, I'm going to go ahead and repurpose the current editing and rendering rig, which is a repurposed computer from Codename Flora, for those of you that understand the reference and get it. And I will hopefully be putting it into that freaking uh, that case over there. And hopefully by the time this is done, I will be rendering and editing most videos on that rig over there until I get the stupid processor for that one right there. So, let's go. Alright people, the time has come. I am too frustrated with how this particular computer has been acted recently. I am tired of waiting for the processor for this baby right here. Still waiting for this sucker. And I just want to go ahead and get that squared away, put the stuff into that rig, be done with it, and hopefully I'll be recording video and rendering video with this temporary rig until this one is set to go. That way I have two full computers that are in good shape minus the fact that that motherboard has some power delivery issues I believe I fixed and then there's a uh, issue with the top PCIe Express uh, slot. It's It was an eBay motherboard I got for 150 It's a Z77 Saber Tooth I got for $150 a couple years ago so I can't be mad. Anyway, it's time for me to go ahead and take that sucker apart and get it squared away. As you can see, this 3770K has seen better years. You can tell by the corrosion here. There's some here. When I flip it, it's probably going to be really cringe-worthy, so I'm sorry for those of you who are sensitive. But, as you can see, right here, there's pretty dark area right there. Let me get you better in the line. Let me get out of the way. And you can see it's a little bit dark over here, too. It's just like this overall area over here has uh, been touched. You don't you don't ever want to like sit there touching it with your thumbs and stuff, because then that'll happen. But I'm doing what I can with what I have.
Alrighty, there you go. Well, as you can tell, the old computer is completely more or less disassembled. Minus the 650 watt gold power supply. I'm just, I'm leaving that in there for now, just so that way I don't have to take it out. Uh, it's fine where it is, I'll take it out later, and that's just going to take more time in the video. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and, it's still got some weight to it, I guess. What? Ah, oh, crap, how am I going to do this? Ah! There we go. I'm going to take this, put you somewhere over here on this nice carpeted floor where all the static is. You see there. Now, I'm going to take this guy and put this processor inside of him. Yeah. Take this and go ahead and slap that in there, along with the hard drives and stuff. That way I can, you know, keep recording crap. Then I'll put Windows 7 on there and I'll be back up and running. Ready. Old Zotac 560 Ti. This has been a good card to me. Uh, I got this used off eBay, like a lot of the other stuff I've had on hand. Uh, this card's honestly been really good, and I like the aesthetic. I really like how it looks. Let me see if I get off the camera and then you can see the light on it. I just really like how this card looks. But, we're not using this. This sucker is too weak to be playing games that we want to play. Because we demand the best. Uh, we demand overkill. Hashtag MP... M, I forget, whatever. PCMR, there you go, yeah, whatever. Yeah, you can just do that. Okay, so, here we go. Do a transplant. This baby's going in there now. Oh, yeah. You may be wondering why it's not in the upper PCI slot. If you're paying attention to earlier in the video, or if I remember to make sure to put what I want to put at the beginning of the video, uh, you'll remember, or not, that the top PCI slot on this motherboard is defective. It just doesn't work. I've tried and tried and tried and cleaned and done all sorts of other weird things and stuff, and nothing has gotten it to work. And I'm not going to go into soldering, you know, territory and stuff just to get a dumb PCI slot to work when I have another one right here anyway. I technically have two more. I have one right below this one right here that you can't see because this computer is way over there. But yeah, yeah, there's another one somewhere down there, but whatever. Anyway, now we get on to the good stuff. Oh yeah. So we're going to lift this, pull it down a little bit so you get a good view of this wonderful thing right here.
Alrighty, as you can see, it's all set to go, all nice and done. Got the other hard drive in there, got the graphics card in there, CPUs inside there. I got the conf confirmation beep that said it was alive, so I was very happy with that. Everything's all good to go now. So now I just had to go ahead and hook this all up to a monitor and junk and then get this thing loaded up with an operating system and I can hopefully start downloading crap and put all sorts of bloatware and crap on here anyway. Now all I have to do is put the power and the data to the hard drive over here and I'll be done. Oh yeah, and you can see my, my ingenious method of filming here. Hey, look man, you gotta do what you gotta do, okay? It works. It looks stupid, but it works. It ain't stupid. It's a good shot of the interior. I'm sorry about the lighting. I don't have good lighting in this area, and I'm still learning about how to do some, you know, proper light methods and stuff like that. So, as time progresses on this channel, I promise you that I'm going to be giving you a lot better quality content. I assure you this. But for those of you who are watching now or enjoying the videos, I thank you very much because, you know, I gotta start somewhere. And thank you for being here at the beginning. Anyway, let's go and continue the video so you can stop hearing me talk and look at more tech. Alrighty, so now we're all good to go. The rig is up and running, as you can see behind me. I loved building this thing. Uh, I'll always say this, my very first love has always been and always will be computers and technology. I love building them, I love putting them together, I love taking them apart, I love troubleshooting them. No matter how enraged I get and how much I curse at a computer, like I will say the worst kinds of things to a computer at some times. But at the end of the day, it is an absolute blast, and even if I didn't figure out what it was that day, I'll come back the next day and go at it, even if I'm still mad at it, and once I'm done, it just feels so good to do. But anyway, this has been a pleasure making this computer, and hopefully I'll be able to do another video on the other big machine over there very soon, hopefully. Uh, I've been waiting for the processor for like almost two months now, and you've probably heard me say the word processor more times than I care to admit. But, let me go and give a rundown of the system itself, i7-3770K, uh, Z77 Sabre Tooth, uh, Asus Motherboard, uh, GTX 770 4GB PNY Enthusiast Edition, that's a lot of 7s. That is a lot of 7s. Seven. 7s is a lucky number with this thing over here. Uh, I've got three 24-inch Acer V246HL monitors. Uh, these ones... I like these ones better because they have the DVI inputs and stuff like that. Although, if you get the different versions, it's HDMI. Actually, no. I don't think this has DV. Yeah, DVI. This has DVI. The other ones have HDMI and stuff. So, depending on which one you like better, uh, I don't know. I think the other ones are better to get, but I just managed to get these on hand. Uh, and by the time you guys will be seeing this video, it will have been rendered and edited and stuff like that on this machine right here. So... I forgot what I was going to say during this video. I actually forgot. Really. I was watching some other YouTube video and then I was like, crap, what was I going to say? I don't remember anymore. Oh crap, Foxy fell down. Oh yeah, uh, 24 gigabytes of Corsair DDR3, 1600 RAM. I have two 8 gig sticks and two 4 gig sticks. I just managed to have two of each on hand at the time, so that's why I did it. I'll be upgrading that to 32 gigabytes later on. 750 watt. Bronze power supply EVGA. This is the I forget whatever. I'll put it in the description. I don't know. <laughs> One twenty gigabyte Kingston solid state drive. Five hundred gigabyte Western Digital Blue and a three terabyte Western Digital Green. The five hundred blue I just happen to have on hand once again. A lot of these parts I just throughout the five years I have been here in America have just been parts that I've gotten on hand and hoarded for the last five years. So. 
that's why I have so much stuff, and that's why I was able to, like, do all these builds and stuff like that. Like, way over there in the background, I've got, like, another 30 gigs of RAM, DDR3 of different varieties, a uh, bunch of other parts, coolers, power supply testers, Kraken X41 over there, a bunch of liquid coolers and stuff. But again, this is just stuff I've had. I am rambling now, though. Anyway, thank you all for watching this video. Uh, give a like if you liked it. Give a dislike if you disliked it. If you wanted to talk about computers or have any questions, shoot, go for it. And, uh, say something in the comments. I want to be able to interact with you guys. I kind of like doing this kind of stuff. Anyway, uh, hopefully the next video will be of the cars and coffee. Because, that, again, that's a lot of footage that I have to cut and splice and then put like some sort of royalty-free music over it. So forgive me if you didn't like the music. Yeah, there's kind of limited pickings out there for royalty-free music unless you ask people. And then it gets, I don't know. I'm new to this. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like, screw it, let's put things together and put it on YouTube. So that's what's happening right now. But again, as I explained earlier in the video, I have really bad lighting. So I don't even know how I'm looking right now. Crap. Now I had to like go back and look. Ah, shit. Uh, I will get better. This is a promise. As more videos start funneling into this channel and my other channel, Footage will get better, lighting will get better, quality will get better. Uh, who knows, maybe I'll do some scripted review stuff, I don't know. Anyway, thank you all for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you all for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next video. And... Shit. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, hopefully I can get some more content out. God damn it.